A Twin Cities family is humbly asking for help in hopes that their paralyzed son can find more freedom. WCCO's Liz Collins shares how home improvements will give Ryan new confidence in his daily routine. At first, things were fine for this Richfield family of five when Ryan Palateo came into the world until his mom noticed alarming changes when he was six months old. He couldn't sit up anymore. He couldn't hold his head up. As a physical therapist, Angie was the first to interpret an MRI showing Ryan's inflamed spinal cord. She immediately broke down and looked at me and said, he's going to be paralyzed. And I didn't understand what she was talking about. Ryan is now seven years old and navigating life. All right, Ryan. With an unbreakable spirit. He's a force to be reckoned with. He doesn't let anything stop him or get in his way. And a sweet personality. They help me get stuff and help me get around. But Ryan hopes he won't have to rely on his family forever to help him get around. It's why, for the first time, his parents are asking for help. One of the hardest things in the past six and a half years for both of us. Beyond a backyard ramp, their home wasn't built for accessibility. Inside, Ryan drags himself to most places. A home remodel would widen the bathroom door and other spaces so Ryan can use his wheelchair. And updates to the garage would mean he wouldn't have to be carried out of the car. It's going to make his life so much easier. Like any parent, the Palateos want Ryan to feel confident and included. He's taught us all a lot um, and <laughs> made us all better people. Look at that little smirk. <laughs> Perhaps small asks for all he's given them. Woo! In Richfield, Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. To help Ryan's family make that remodel possible, you will find a link on WCCO.com.